Hello, 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 beautiful people of the internet. Welcome to tonight's stream. What was it? Um, I'm I'm here with the NCSU libraries, you know, as part of their Twitch. Was it as and streaming with them on their Twitch channel? My name is Andrew. I'm from the Makerspace. Um, what was it department? Uh, that's not the actual name of the department. Um, but I'm was it? I work. Was it? I'm from Hill. Was it? Hello. Was it? Hey mod. Was it? Also shout out to my awesome, wonderful mod. We love you. You do wonderful things. Was it? If someone wants to hire them and pay them big bucks, do so. Was it? Um, I'm really glad to see that you're excited for Stickerland too. Was it? I am very excited about this. Was it? Especially just because it seems so simple. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say that because we've said that about a lot of sticker designs, and then we've been like, oh wait, this is gonna turn into like a four stream series. Was it? But I am really excited about this. Um, was it? Just because this will, I'm going to be totally honest with you, it's going to knock off a couple things. Was it, like, I have, a, was it, the reason that I'm making the Pusheen Cut sticker is because I've got a friend who, was it, who works here, who is very, who loves Pusheen and has been ask, has been begging me to make a Pusheen sticker for, like, a semester and a half. So I'm glad to do this. Yes. I'm not going to jinx myself today. Um, but I'm very excited to get started. Um, so the way that this, so that the way that the stream is going to work is for about the first hour or so, I'm going to be making the sticker. What was it? I'm going to be making the design for the sticker using vector-based, uh, vector-based uh, digital design software like Inkscape, which is a really great open-source um, digital design software. Um, so what was it? And my mod is going to throw the link to that down below because we love supporting open-source software. We love supporting open-source projects that do great things. Um, what was it? And then we're going to take a quick break. Was it halfway just because I need to get some water? And also, what was it? I always really like to do calisthenics for my streams. Um, was it during my breaks so that we all get a chance to like look away from the screens and just like move our bodies? Because I don't know about y'all, but I've been getting a hump from the fact. Well, I haven't been getting a hump. That's, that's exaggerating. My, what was it? When I lie down, my, bra my back crackles like kindling um, in a fire because. I've been sitting all day, every day. So there's that. Um, what was it? And hopefully it'll give you a chance to get up and stretch if you haven't done so. Was it recently? Um, and if don't, you'll take like five minutes and come back. What was it? Honestly, it's, it usually takes like three minutes if I'm going to be totally honest with you. So there's that. What else? Um, and then the second half of the stream, which is seven to eight, is going to be roughly... Was it? It's hopefully it's gonna be the actual. We're gonna make this, like we're actually gonna get some vinyl, cut this out, have some fun with it. Um. So, on that note. Oh right. Also, what was it? I'm here for the makerspaces, and we're what was it? The title of the stream is we're making stickers, but we are also here as a source for information, or. Was if you want question if you want to, if you want any questions answered about the makerspace or Hill Library, um, was it my moderator and I was it my moderator who's super awesome and I are pretty knowledgeable was it because we spent a lot of time in this library, um, though we're not both here in person, um, but yeah was it, if you have any questions was it, you can throw them in the chat and we'll answer them to the best that we can if you have any questions about like specific equipment stuff um, was it I'll answer the best I can too was it. What was it because usually my day job is sitting here at the makerspace and helping people out with their projects um my specialties are textiles digital design um what was it software to some extent what was it i'm not really a big what was it i don't was it, i'm learning iot stuff right now but like arduinos and raspberry pis i i'm a little i'm a little begin i'm still a beginner at um was important hill library related question why is there no filament on the bottom row of shelving behind you? Like, did we use it? Has there ever been filament there? And I just haven't noticed. See, that's a that's a good question. I honestly, I don't know. What was it? Because, like, okay, if we look behind us, we have these rows of filament, which all look very aesthetically pretty, right? And very nice. What was it? However, however, what was it? They are also all old as heck. What was it? Um, like, they're very, which am I call them? No, they're just they're just old. They're so old. What was it for those of the for those of you who don't know the rolls of filament 
Um, they're used for 3D printing. That's the material that you feed into the printer so that they'll like build stuff. That's what they build with. All the colors are so pretty crusty, crunchy filament. Yeah, that's that's the, those those two statements are both correct. They can both be valid while not invalidating the other. Um, well, is it? They're for 3D printing, and that they're the material that the machines use to like build stuff out of. Um, however, they they do was it specific types of there's a lot of different types of filament, but the most common one that we see in the space is PLA. Um, was it? And PLA has, it does have a shelf life about, it does have a shelf life. Um, and if it's especially exposed to moisture, um, what was it, or sunlight, it can dry out really quick um, and become unusable and way too brittle. So for example, what was that? Let's find a good crunchy one. Is this crunchy? Yeah. I was able to just snap that off really easily without putting much force behind it. You should not be able to do that. It should be bendy and pliable, like bamboo. Um, but yeah, what was it? It's there mostly for aesthetic purposes, I guess. I guess if I had to hazard a guess, the third row is empty just because we have to be really because we're we have so many windows in the Hill Maker space. Like literally, our, our we the entirety of our walls are made out of windows. What was it? At least the ones that face the front and the left. What was it? Like there's just like the entire thing is just like glass window panes. You just, was it, sorry to take on the tangent, but it was an important question. It was an important question. What was it, but like, because of that, that means that we're really open facing to the public um, and to any patrons that walk in. Um, and the library is really careful about what they present to the public um, and like the visual aesthetics. So for example, we had, we at least because we always need more shelving and space because the machines take up a lot and like the disposable stuff and like we have so many just like buckets of random things there's a shelf on the brick wall over there what was it um that is what was it it's what was it it's like what maybe eight feet long what was it which sounds like a lot but like also our space is pretty big um but it took about two years for the paperwork to go through to get that shelf. I wasn't I wasn't even here for that for the majority of it, but what was it? I hear I hear like my coworkers and my boss being like, "Yeah, they're slow going on that." Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's mainly why. What was it? What was it? Which is why which is why I would guess that the third row is just straight up like empty because they were like that seems like too much work. Which honestly, I don't blame them. What was it? Um, so, anyways, let's get to it. Hop on to it. Um, let's transition. Alrighty. So you're not gonna see as much of my face anymore. Well, I mean, you're saying, you're gonna see the same amount and just shrink down. But we get to start off with our very very nice. What was it? Inkscape was it so this is Inkscape uh, like yes, we are now heading to sticker time um, Just for a quick intro for those who don't know what what it is. Um, it's a um, So Inkscape is a Digital design software that's really similar that could be considered similar to like Illustrator for example um, It's really nice. I like it a lot. It's got a lot of good feet like it's really powerful um, it's also free and open source. Like you can see all the source code on GitHub if you wanted to make your own and to like do some coding, coding, uh, coding twists and twists and turns. Um, you could definitely do that on your own if you wanted to. That said, there are a lot of people who was it who add to the to the code all the time. Um, was it? I mean, less so now just because like it's really good. Like, like I don't know what they could add at this point. I'm be told, well, I mean, I guess I can make the vec like the automatic vectorization stuff a little bit smoother, but I mean, considering nobody's paying these people to make it, it's really good. What was it? And it's like really comparable to Adobe Illustrator, which is the other uh, digital design software that you see a lot of people using for vector art, um, which is what we're doing here today. Um, so the reason that we're doing vector art is because, what was it? So 
the machines that we're the machine that I'm gonna use, use today to make the sticker is called a Cricut, and it's really great. Like it's got really good precision um, for what it is, and it's like a really great machine that's really versatile. But also, it doesn't know where to cut unless you tell it where to cut, um, and that's where those vectors come in, because the vectors are basically directions for the machine to be like, hey, cut from a, point A to point B in a curved line, um, and then move on to point C. Um, so that's what vectors are. And that's why vectorization is really important, because otherwise they don't really know what the heck to do with it. Um, and there's a couple of different ways you can vectorize it, right? Um, so like you'll have, oh, I should also mention vectorization is like just a lot of different points that like you go, for, like the computer knows to like jump from A to, a to B or, or like cut from A to B and then B to C and then so on. What was it? So there's that. Let's, and there's a couple of different ways you can go about vectorizing this and making those points and paths for the computer to follow. One is you can auto vectorize it. Was it because in a was it in a decent chunk of the up to date digital design softwares that do vector art? There's a lot of auto um, auto vectorization stuff. So for example, if I went to path and then object to path. What was it? I mean, that, wait, no, is that it? No, it's trace bitmap. That's it. What was it? I forget because this is different from Illustrator because I learned how to do this first in Illustrator. Pusheen is staring at my soul. Honestly, Pusheen, it really is. It's so like, I don't know whether to call it terrifying or whether to just accept the void. Well, I'm going to be totally honest. Like there's a lot of stickers that I've done in the recent, in the recent era where I've just been like, the like circle eyes are just like, okay, they're having a time here they're doing their thing. So let's take a look. Um, so let's do brightness cutoff question mark. What was it? And then let's scale it down like a lot. Yeah, see something like that. Um, let's even go a little further. Nope, too far. So this works off based off like the relative brightness of the object. And so like it was able to detect the brown because it was really dark compared to like the light uh, light gray on the inside. What was it, guys, guess what? Was it, my mom's freaking out about something. What was it? I Googled more info about Pusheen and this whole website with info about her and her birthday is in three days. What? That's so wild. I love it. Oh my God, that's so great. What was it? We gotta make her a happy birthday sticker for Prashim. I love it. It's it's so great. What was it? What was it? What happened to the inverted image? Oh no, we do not want that. What was it? Prashim.com. What was it? My mom just threw a link in the chat. Let's take a look. What was it? What? Wow. Come on. Slash about, wow, I didn't realize she had a website. Is it a she? I shouldn't assume. What was it? it is, okay, their gender, their gender is a girl. Um, but I love it. That's great. Wow, fancy. I love it. This is awesome. What was it? Okay, so... I don't know if y'all can see this bit mapping I'm doing on the side, but was it this? Was it so? The first way that I was talking about doing the auto way is you can do trace bit map, right? And you'll just like it'll it'll do it for you. Um, in that sense. What was it? So it's about the relative brightness of of like objects and shapes within. Uh, within the within the object that you're working with. So there's that. Let's go down to 270. Does it show up? No, I need to go up a little bit more than 350. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay. What was it? And then I want to smooth corners like a lot. Like, really, really a lot. Actually, it looks a little weird now. I'm going to be totally honest. I should go back to a little bit less. 
What are speckles? I have no clue. What are how many pixels will be suppressed? I guess zero. What happens if I suppress zero? Right, and then I say update. Nothing? Okay, maybe I'll just default it then. And then go back to one. Okay, okay. Right, and then I move this out and wow, that was so quick. That was so nice. What was it? Admittedly, it's not perfect because of that little thing right there with a the nose. That's a little that's a little annoying for me. But like, actually, you know what we can do? We can turn down the smoothness for that and then see how that works. No, we definitely want the smoothness. What was it? Okay, that's I'm glad that's established. But do we want it smoother? Uh, 10, 15? Uh, nah. Okay, so one was good. What was it? There's just some minor alterations we're gonna have to go in to like change on our own, which is fine, honestly. Like, this is a really great starting point. It would have taken me a long time to just go at this from the very beginning. So I'm gonna, uh, what was it? Yeah, honestly, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to move this to a layer. Well, actually, you know, first things first, I need to make a new layer. Add layer, layer two below current. So we're gonna call this um, background, right? What was it? Okay, there we are. I don't know why there's two of them, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. What was it? I mean, I guess we can just choose which one we want, but like, let's see. Uh, first things first, let's look at layers. So view, display mode, no. Campus orientation, no. Show slash hide, no. What was it, where are the layers? What was it, layers, there we go. Okay, cool, background. No, that's layer one. Is this, cons that's all can also considered what I want. This also, really interesting. Okay, so we're gonna, oh, right, we never actually moved it. So let's move this to the background layer. Move, and then we're gonna lock this so we don't can't move it, and then we're gonna turn on the opacity a little bit so that it'll look more like a background. And then we're gonna move this back here. What was it, actually, we can take a look at, what was it, first things first, I'm gonna move this here. So, yeah, uh, by the way, once I start getting into vector stuff, what was it? I get a, I start to like zone, zone out a little bit and like really get into like making it look real nice and perfect. So if I do not, resp if I'm not a great conversationalist during this, do not mind me. What was it? This is just me having it. Get it in the zone. Yeah, that's right. Get in. The, actually, I'm not gonna, I was gonna make a reference, but then I realized the reference might get us copyrighted. <laughs> Was it? And we cannot afford to get copyrighted because I don't know if any. Was it? I like my job very much. Was it? I'm just absorbed in the pushing website. There's so much. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I took a look, like the very like quick five seconds I took a look at that website when you showed it to me. I was like, there's a lot here. There's a lot here for like, like it makes sense. Like this is their whole brand, but like also there is a lot here. So what's wrong with this? This one, that looks about right. I do want to add another note here though, just because uh, for whatever for whatever reason, Cricut doesn't like circles with less than four nodes, which is, that's fair, honestly. Was it, they're working with very little here, so like, it's hard for me to be like, well, okay. We might as well just like, you know, let them have it. Oh no, that's not what I wanted, what? Okay, we want to delete these. Please don't delete the rest. 
Come on, I said please. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What was it? And she has all these friends which are different animals with their own backstories and products. Ooh, I love it. I love it so much. Let me delete that. And then we're going to take this, copy it, and then paste it. Oh, no. No, I don't want this. <laughs> I don't want this. I just want... Wah, 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 wah. Cut? No. Well, I guess I'm just keeping it how it is. This is a very... It's a really... Like, the auto... Stuff is interesting. I'm maybe totally honest with you. It's like really weird, um, just because it's really hard to because it's auto generated. It's really hard to like mess around with it too much. Can I just delete this? Yes, thank you. Okay. No, we want you back there. That looks about right. Well, what was it? And then let's make this a little bit flatter because I know that's how. Whoa! Try pretty please with cherries on top. <laughs> Yo, Inkscape, pretty please with cherries on top. Will you cooperate? Co cooperate with me today, just please, please. Pretty please with cherries on top. I could really use that today. What was it? I'm totally honest with you. I've been like, what was it? I stayed up pretty late last night finishing a genetics test, and I'm like a little tired. What was it? Actually, let's see if we can make this. Ah, I don't want to make this a corner, but because it's a little like, yikes. And that's gonna make that's gonna make it a V, which is what we don't want. We want just two. Which, if we made two nodes, we could do that. But also like, this is. We're good. It's fine. What was that? And this looks good. Honestly, it looks really good. I'm really surprised it turned out so well. What was that? Um, like I totally, like I'm totally honest with you. I totally expect this to like take me way longer. Like it, I did not expect this to take me like 20 minutes. Yeah. Like if we turn off the background, this looks really good. Like admittedly, it's a very simple design to begin with, but like yeah. Whew. Uh, I don't know what to do with this now. Hmm. I mean, totally honest, I didn't plan anything else for the stream. I mean, we can do good Atama. That's true. What was it? I had a friend who was. What was it? Or I did. I had another friend who wanted to do good Atama. So let's look at good Atama. For those of you who don't know, good Atama is this like egg cartoon character who's like. His whole thing is like he's super lazy. What was it? And it's great. What was it? But um, not to get too graphic on stream, but like my friend, like one of her, like her stipulations was, if you're gonna do Gudetama, make sure you get the tush, you know, get that tush. So let's see if I can take this. What was it? Let's. Copy this image, and then, by the way, what was it? Let's talk about, like, copyright for a second. Um, so I'm doing this, and I'm not selling any of this, and we're not making any of this. We're not making money off of the Twitch channel or anything by doing the, by using these copyrighted images. Um, because it all, because A, we're not making money off of this. B, this falls under the Creative License Commons education portion of the bill, I think. Um... But if y'all do see me and you're like, hey, I want to do this, and apparent, and you get to a point where you're like, wow, people want to pay me to do this, just make sure that you're, just be careful. Um, because you can't, what was it, selling stickers of copyrighted images and um, likenesses will, is, is, it's a really easy way to get you sued. What was it? So we're going to, Clip this. All right, let's transform this. Where the heck is the transform tool? Object, transform. What was it? Scale, rotate, skew, matrix. Where is clip? 
What was that? I like really what's happening here? Projects. Kudutama doesn't have a website like Pushin does. I want to know Kudutama's website. I mean, yeah. Yeah. That's fair. What was that? Actually, I just I really want to like delete a lot of this. Totally honest with you. Set map. How do I clip things? Set clips? Is that how I do it? Oh, duplicate. Text. Few layers. Nope, nope, nope. No. Hmm. Object. Question mark. Layer. Edit, maybe? Is this where I do this? Clone? No, that's not what I want. I want select same. Let's see. View layers object path. See, I think it would be path, right? Or not path, I'm sorry. Object. Yeah, clip. Set question mark. Object clip. Release. I don't know. Also, I want to see. I'm very curious about Guto Thomas' website too. Okay. So we're gonna do two things right now while I'm looking this up. A, we're gonna look up Guto Thomas' website or Guto Thomas' birthday. What was it? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Wikipedia says. I don't know if they actually even have. I don't know if they have a whoops. I don't know if they have a birthday. I don't know if this is, this is something that was important for the creators. Gudutama is part of the Kelly Kitty. Yeah, see, that's what I saw too. Because I was like, wait, hold on, what? Because the first web, the first link that I went to was like, hold on, it's it's part of the Hello Kitty wiki. What was it? Which one? I was like, okay, that's weird. But like, fan fan made wikis are always like a little. They can always be incorrect. They're usually. Or just not, like, informed well. Um, because they're fan-made. But, I mean, it will make sense. They're both, like, a giant Japanese brand. Well, it makes sense that they both were, like, things. Or they were both made by the same people. Or at least the same company. Um, let's see. Not Gudetama. Let's do how to clip. Or how to crop images. And Inkscape. Interesting. Was it? They say you have to make an object to crop it, which I'm like, currently I'm like, uh, I don't really want it. Was it? I'm, I'm embodying Gudetama. This is not me being lazy. This is me just doing work. This is just me doing research on my character, or on the character that I'm supposed to be working on, you know? Or the sticker. So, Sanrio, the Hello Kitty company, had a contest in 2013 to let fans design a food related character, and Gudetama got second, losing, quote unquote, losing out to a cheerful salmon filet named Kirimi chan. I love this. This is great. Listen, maybe this is what we should do. Maybe this is what we should just do every stream. I love this idea. Like, that'd be so great. What was it? Um, let's make a really quick square or rectangle, I guess. And then we're gonna go back to this. And then we're gonna object, clip, set. There we go. Great. And then I think the original just like del deleted itself. Great, that's great. Also, let's do that again because a practice and b I'm gonna cut out this little copy, this little thing in the corner. What was it? Object, clip, set. Oh wait, I have to select both of them. Good time research stream. Well, there have been weirder streams for there have been weirder streams for uh, our Twitch channel. Admittedly, there have been many weirder streams. What was it? 
Yeah, okay. So then, and then contacts. Cool. Okay, so. Oh, that's not what I want. No, I don't want that. Is that another one? Object. Well, object clip set. Cool. Okay. Now we have basically everything except for this little thing in the corner, which I'm like, yeah, whatever. Um, now I can just say object or out or path. My bad. Uh, trace bit map, and then. I mean, yeah, this looks really good, honestly. It's really good. It's really good. Hold on, let me see if I can up up the brightness threshold. Actually, I probably want to lower the brightness threshold, don't I? If I want to include the gray bits. Yeah, let's, okay. Okay, no. Update, really, nothing's happening. Huh. Well, I guess regardless of what happens, you're just, you're good. It's what you're getting. Well, I mean, I guess we'll go with 250, because why not? And then, well, bam. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. That's so quick. I didn't expect that. I'm going to be totally honest with you. What was it? I guess, well, okay, first things first, we're moving, yeah, okay, so, we've selected that, we're moving that to the layer background. Move, um, and then we're going to say, hey, let me turn you on, and then we're going to set the opacity to, like, this much. Uh, I don't know if I want to get, like, the shading stuff, I'm going to be totally honest, what was it, just because, like, Inkscape is coming through today. Those look, I mean, yeah, it's like, it's it's doing real well today. I'm really surprised by it. Honestly, I don't know if there's anything I would even, like, change about this one when I look at it. I mean, actually, you know what? Let's paste, let's copy the, um, I'm going to copy the, I'm going I'm to get a fresh image of Gudetama, or the, the original image. And then let's paste it. Oh, wait, no, it's it's background. That's why I was like, oh, why is this not working? There we go. Okay. Uh, it's pretty on point. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, there's that shading stuff that's not really happening, but, like, honestly, that stuff would just be a pain for stickers. We're going to be totally honest here. But it looks really good, honestly. I might just call it a day with this. What was it? I mean... I don't, like, I'm not going to end the stream, like, an hour and a half before we're supposed to finish, but, like, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I didn't expect this to happen so quickly. Like, wow. Huh. Well. <laughs> um. You know. What we can do is we can, um, well, actually, first thing we're going to actually have to need to do is crap out this little bit right here. I think this, this is probably going to take us some time. Please don't tell me that deleted that deleted everything. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yep. And then honestly, oh, also I should get rid of these. Um, I wonder if there's anything here where there's like that. I don't. I can't see any. But maybe when we throw it into cricket, it'll be like. You have a million no points here because sometimes the algorithm is like that because it's auto generating. It, it's a computer; it doesn't know any better. What was it? What was it? So now I just delete this layer. What was it? And then, well, bam! I guess we have it. I mean, do we want to? Actually, here's a good question: Can we find a picture of Pusheen with a birthday hat? What was it? Pusheen birthday. What was it? Ah, yes, many exist. What was it? I'm going to 
habe ich das am Mensch. And throw it down here. Paste. Yes. Okay, so this exists. I don't need the lettering. I'm going to be totally honest. But also, it wouldn't be a terrible idea. We can have a couple. I don't know. What was it? Oh. Oh, God. My back. Oof. 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 Oh, jeez. I don't know if y'all heard that, but there was just a crackling. What was it? There is a reason that it, what was it? I choose the calisthenics for the stream for the stream break. It's because otherwise I would I would like stiffen up and then just become a tree. Which honestly, it's you know considering the state of the market these days, I don't. What was it? I'm not actually. I don't actually want to talk about the state of the market these days. That was just a joke, but. Um, Yeah, we don't deal with econ here. I wasn't not to say that's not important. It's just not our focus. And also, I'm not an econ major, man. Stonks, yeah, stonks. What was it? But actually, let's see what happens if we trace bitmap. Okay, so the binary special is a little. Okay, what happens if we go a little higher? Okay, what happens if we go higher? Oh no, too high. Better? Ah, yikes. Um, let's do color quantity, edge detection. Maybe this is better. Update. Ah, this is interesting. Let's go slower. Let's go lower. I don't know. What if, why don't we go higher with it? I don't. I'm. I'm gonna be totally honest. I don't. Know most, much about the trace bitmap stuff, or was it, it's just really like easy to be like, hey, well, bam. Um, not because I don't have experience with tracing, because I do, it's just mostly hand because Inkscape is annoying and trace bitmap sometimes. I'm gonna tell you something. Nope, not what I want. Uh, maybe it's color quantization, maybe that'll be better. Colors eight. Nope. Hold on. There's one, two, three, four. What was it? So we got pink, orange, blue, purple, other blue. Um, and then I think that's the same blue, and that's the same yellow, and then we have black, and then I think that's it. Mm, let's update the colors count because I don't. Oh no. This is this is intense. This is so intense. Oh no, that's even worse. Oh no, hold on. Yikes, what is happening here? Auto trace, update. Okay. Update. Actually, okay, let's see what happens if we auto trace it. Oh boy, we're gonna throw this back down to two because I don't know what happened there. What was it? We're gonna control Z this and then call it. And then we're gonna auto trace. Oh no, that's so not what we want. Oh no. Huh. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> this is so not. This is so not what we want. You know. I am. Um, yikes. Oof. Maybe. Uh... You know what? Okay, we can make text pretty easy. Let's just start off with, let's start off with the machine. So let's, we're gonna control Z some of this and make this go away, cause that never happened. What was it? And we're gonna we're make sure that we're in. Actually, we're gonna make a new background. We're gonna make a new layer. Below current, I call it background. If I'm selecting the text bar background and then we're gonna move you we use the select tool to move to select it and then move to layer background also if you hear my stomach stomach grumbling just know it's because my roommate ordered pizza what was it for the both of us and I'm just I'm internally 
Oh, I'm so ach I'm aching that pizza so much. It's fine. It's fine. I can make it through the stream. I can make it through the stream. Um, but whoops, not what I wanted. What was it? So first things first, we're gonna take the handle to the corner, and then we're gonna go as far this way that we can go without cutting off the stars or the little dazzler at the very top. The pom pom. That's it. Then we select this, and then we say object, clip, set. Nope. We say object, clip, set inverse. Right? Yep. This is the closest I could come to a pizza. Is that a Dorito? <laughs> Love it. It's so great. It looks like if someone, what was it, took, like, um, you know those, like, graphic illustrations of the, it, like the inner center core of the earth where it's just like pure lava and then like threw it onto a triangle i love it it's great which basically describes every dorito that exists what was it or at least aesthetically it's well okay the good doritos what was it i do not approve of cool orange i like i like the nacho cheese and there is no other the other is it is betrayal on the highest order they grab a pizza, pizza and shake the cheese and toppings off. This is how Doritos are made. Oh my god, that's so great. That's so great. Oh, That's exactly how they make Doritos. What was it? Billion dollar industry secret destroyed by us. The library channel. What was it? We're actually gonna... This is the opposite way, because this way it'll... actually also get rid of the um, rectangle when we do this. Yeah. What was that? And then we'll do... What? Not that. Not, not what I wanted. Yep. And then we're going to narrow very closely. Object clip set. Nope. I actually scratched that noise. I'm going to do this, and then object clip, set, right, and then we go in deeper, and then we're like, object clip, oh no, that's not what I want, object clip, set inverse, no, that's not what I want, object clip, set, okay, cool, nope, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Oh, no. Object, clip, set. No. Uh, object, clip, set, inverse. Nope, still didn't work. Okay. So, I'm going to assume from here we can do some auto tracing, and it's not going to hate us too much if we try trace bit mapping. Let's start off with brightness cutoff. Right? Worked for us last time. Start with the easy stuff, then work your way up. F uh, let's get this 600. Uh, 700? We're approaching bad territory. Oh no. Yikes. No. What's happening here? Yes, but also no. Okay, so maybe it's edge detection. This is what we want. Update. Okay. Huh. That's actually not too bad. Don't love it, but for our sakes, it's going to be just fine. What was it? I'm just like realistically speaking. Because, like, you don't need them to be filled in. You don't actually need, like, okay, so, the, so like, real talk, you don't need these things to be filled in. Um, or you don't need like the ed the lines to be filled in if you're having if you have borders um, which is like basically because the way that stickers work a lot of the time like a lot the easiest slash most like conservative way to wait to make them like considering vinyl because like you can go through vinyl real easy real quick um, is 
you use like a lot of white space to imply stuff and the way that this is actually going to cut it out you don't have any was it like it'll be fine i'm a little worried about this thing here to be totally honest with you was it so let's actually help, see if we can update the edge threshold and then oh wait yeah update okay what happens if we go down like to 800 update okay delete this what was it does it get does the p get better or worse i can't tell what was it i don't know i think it gets better because the y is better right and like this is not great i'm gonna be totally honest with you Yeah, that's a, that's not great either. I mean, at least there, it's like cleaner. Maybe I really do need to go up like at a higher edge threshold of like nine, a thousand, or not a thousand, one. Okay, so this one's cleanish. This one is how clean is this one? Uh, cleaner. I'm I'm gonna be perfectly honest bill i have no clue at this point um see but it doesn't have the tail thing the tail thing is kind of like the tail like the stripes aren't right which is gonna be annoying you know so i guess i delete this i mean you know what we could we could keep just like this we could keep like the lettering and, this, and like the decorations on the on around it and just well, I mean, that'll be a backup if we need to, like, match them up. What was it? Let's do auto-tracing question mark? I don't know how this is going to work out. Ah! This is what we really don't... Whoa, that's a lot of points. We don't want this happening. 47 minute match that you're doing great. Thank you. What was it? Um. So for those, for those of you who don't know what's why Abby... Did that to me it's because um or it did that for me it's because a lot of the time whenever i'm working in inkscape inkscape hates me and it's like oh okay we're gonna fight we're gonna fight today um which is like you know disregarding like the first 20 minutes it is like what's happening for the stream but abby the wonderful person that she is and the amazing moderator that she is has was it gives me reminders that i'm doing great what was it? And honestly, I'm like, I believe it today. Like, we got results done. Not to say that your worth is based off what you make. What was it? Because it's definitely not. Your worth as a human being is intrinsic. Um, but, what was it? And an inherent in your character? And what was it? But, like, I also made really cool, neat stuff. What was it? Really fast. Um, so, give and takes there. Give and takes. Maybe I should just nix the star thing and make it on my own, because it's not that hard. I say this. It's it's not it's not complex. Let me let me rephrase it that way. Cause if I did that, uh I just really wish I could get like the center bit. What was it? Can I object clip mask set? What was it? Hold on. How do I You know, I wonder if I can there's a cut tool. because I just want like this bit right what was it and then I want this and then I want to be like hey object pattern path clip set that is that is good okay that's actually really great this will let me do some do some things now um and then let me actually let me save this. You know, it's important to remember to save things. I always forget to do this until the very end, and I'm like, ah, I should do this early in case the computer just like decides to have a meltdown. Because my computer tends to have meltdowns and is like, ah, Andrew. What was it? Pusheen. 
Oops, that's cap. That's capitalized. Pusheen and Gudetama. What was it? Okay, so let's actually see if we can do this with brightness cut off now. Nope. Not happening. Okay, so we'll have to see the trace bit map. See, what I'm saying is why it's doing all the others, because I don't want that, right? I just want... I, I don't want that, like, at all. I just want areas that are darker than the threshold value and creates a path and closing them using Pillow Trace. Change is greater than the given threshold value and then creates paths to separate them using Pillow Trace. Color quantification. And the given number of colors separates them in, with a path using Pillow Trace. Auto Trace uses the Auto Trace algorithm with a center equivalent option. Vector is a line drawing with Auto Trace multiple scans. This option separate the image into a number of scans, depending on brightness, colors, separation, or grade levels, and creates several paths. Also use auto trace the pixel art. Also use the depixelize algorithm to vectorize. What was it? Uh, to vectorize pixel art images. Okay, this makes more sense. That was just like me reading off the help. I mean, it doesn't help me with why it's doing all this rest. I don't know what the, that means though. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Also, I don't know why it's just not working at this point. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's because I changed the edge threshold. <laughs> the edge threshold has like, it's at a, it, it's at like a thousand. Was it, is the computer just not responding? Sometimes it does that. Also, okay, so it's responding to this. Maybe it's just trace bit maps. Just like you're having a time here. We're gonna take this. Okay, trace, trace bit map is having a time here. Really? Shift, Alt. B? Question mark? I thought that was the... Yeah, there we go. Ah, now it just won't open. This is an in, this is an interesting time here. There we go. So let's throw down the brightness cutoff. I don't know. Auto trace. Update. Image properties. What was it like? It's not very big. I don't know why I keep saying that it is. It's like 3.237. Okay, so maybe that didn't like that. So what if I control X this and then just control V this? No? Does it not like you when I do that? 2.493? Okay, so he doesn't like it when I do that. Well, I guess that's, I guess that makes sense. What was it? Um, okay, Pusheen looks happy no matter what happens in Ink Sleep, so that's good. Yeah, at this point, it's just the hat that I'm like really trying to get. What was it? Which, honestly, if I don't get it within the next like three minutes, I'm just gonna make it myself. I mean, am I gonna make it myself? Eh, no, not really, I'm just gonna I'm gonna print off some. I'm just gonna print the stickers and just call it a day, probably, just because. I might print off "Happy Birthday" in the text for that. A little bit, because that would be easy. Maybe we need to cut up a sheen. I don't know if that'll actually do it. What was it? Let's. Yeah, the bitmap is just like not having this. I don't know why. Can you do the text from the Cricket app? I've read everything on the interface. That's fair. Um, I think so, if I remember right. What was it? Trace bit map update. There's my stomach. Hey, what was it? Hungry for pizza. Um, yeah, okay, so it's just, I don't know why the trace bit map is just like, nope, not today. So we're gonna delete this and just, honestly, I'm ready to like move on to the next one. What was it? What was it? Actually, you know what? This is a good time to find or to do to take our break. Cricket, or not? Not cricket. I'm sorry. Calisthenics. 
light radio cones the next three minutes. I'm gonna find the thing that I usually. Megan was it one of our other streamers moderate was it was moderating moderating for me over the over the winter break and she she always uses this she always uses this video and I'm just I I always use this one no what was it but I'm also not gonna stream it because I don't know I'm pretty sure that I'm not allowed to do that but if y'all just was it um, if you want to follow along me doing it please feel free to do so I'm gonna throw it down in the chat um it's just a YouTube link so nothing too sketchy. Um, what was it? But yeah, we're gonna take five minutes and just like do some exercising. What was it? Make sure when you before you start this that you like you're comfortable and that like you what was it. I'm not. Let me let me let me restate this. I am not an exercise expert, or I'm not an expert, and I'm not like a personal fitness personal fitness um, expert. Um, I'm doing this just because I think it's a good thing. And what was it? Stretching is generally a good thing for, for a lot of people, um, if not a necessary thing. Um, but also, make sure you do it to wherever you're comfortable. And if you ever feel uncomfortable, look, know your limits. Know your limits. What was it? Okay. I'm going to stop um, being anxious about people potentially hurting themselves while doing calisthenics. But what was it? I'm also going to turn off the, the, the audio for this. We're going to just do this together, right? Look for a stand tall, stretch your whole body, stretch and grow. Ooh. Open up and stretch arms and legs. knees, flex the arms and legs, and we're going to do arms revolving, open up our whole chest, also make sure that you're not going to hit anything, and that you have enough space to do this, I probably should have started off with that, was it? I say this because, like, almost Every stream I do this, I hit the wall or a table and it hurts. Arm bends. What was it? Forward bands. Oof, this feels good. What was it? Arms, with your body, and then back. And then toe touches. Ugh. Oh, I heard something cracking. It's okay. My body is very loud. What was it? Whenever I stretch. What was it? I told y'all at the beginning. It sounds like kindling. What was it? And then what else? This is the one I always hit something on, so be careful with this one. And then... Just jump in jacks. And then we're gonna cool down now with just some stretching. Look at arms and legs. Was it bend the knees? And then deep breathing. Coolio. I feel great. 
what was it? And we're actually, we're going to take like two minutes, maybe three. What was it? Well, I go and grab the cricket and some other prep stuff. What was it? We will be right back.
Hello, 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 beautiful people. I am back. Sorry, it took longer than expected. Um, but what was it? I was actually over there at, at, asked, at the Ask Us desk, which is right next to the Homemaker Space. Um, what was it? Uh, for that quick corporate plug synergy. Um, but like, my friends who work at Ask Us um, were, are actually the people that we're making these for. So I went over to ask them what color vinyl they wanted to be, this to be made out of. Um, so, what was it? So all I've done so far is I went ahead, was open up the Cricut Design Space, logged in, uh, and uploaded the 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 designs or the files. Uh, was it? also they have a good chunk of like just normal templates, and also I think Zoe Deschanel just had a thing for a hot moment with them with like a sponsorship or something. I don't know, but they're doing that now. They also had just like a general amount of templates for random assortment of things i think but yeah they're good i think i don't know they're very like pastel color which is usually good which i usually like a lot but i don't know that's something about these is like throwing me off um but let's take a look what was it so this one is doing good right here and then i don't know how we're, i don't know how many we're gonna make i'm gonna i want to say we're gonna make like two of these was i also think i want to make this a little bit smaller i'm gonna be totally honest with you what was that like i want to make machine a little smaller you know what okay that was weird okay let's do another what was it i feel like this is a good amount you know what was it we can make four we'll take some time do some cutting cutting and stuff what was it by the way yeah the ask us desk has a virtual consultation chat feature in case you have library related questions like my awesome moderator has just th thrown into the chat um and the link is there too so if you have questions about us feel free um i'm actually gonna make another machine one because they're just smaller <laughs> what's it just ratio wise they're more compact what was it um so there's that i'm gonna keep it at two because i'm like i want a pushing well do i even want one of these i don't know i'll make another one because why not you know keep it fair and all Ooh, this thing is interesting <laughs> looking at this from a different angle. Uh, they don't have the shift, what was it, horizontal scrolling that I like. What was it? All right, okay, I wanna edit you. Arrange, nope, more. Rotate, here we go. 180. Nope, I forgot. I needed to do 90. Thank you. Whoa, did not mean to go down that many inches. What was it? Okay, but here we are. What was it? Oops, I'm sorry. I did not mean to, like, give me one second. I need to readjust OBS because OBS is like, huh, you want to change something? Well, let's take a look at this. Um, where's the screen share? Here we go. And then we're going to shift. Oh, well, damn. Jeez, it's so big. It's so big. Why is it so big? So this should be better okay what was it so now we're here i'm also very excited for me to cut these out what was it like these are gonna be a lot of fun also we're gonna have time to like talk about the like the sticker post processing which i've never had time for which i'm really excited about, honestly so let's transition over to the big boy or to the doc cam 
Where is the dock cam? Here we go. Uh, overhead cam. It is dead. So, funny thing was it our dock cam, which is our overhead cam, it tends to not like. It just tends to fall asleep sometimes. So, if you see that happening, just know that it's not me. It's not anyone's fault, really. It's just the camera is just being a little wonky right now. What was it? And there's. That's all, that's all there is to it. Let's see, what's on the lights? What was it? Where's the light? There we go. That's better. Um, also, this cricket is giant, FYI, so like, just heads up for that. Let's actually see if we can get a better view, like this. Yeah? That looks better. That looks better. I like this better. I don't know, sounds like it's your fault. Yeah, you know what, you're right. It is all my fault, you know? What was it? The, um, just everything that ever breaks in this space, in the in history of ever, is all my fault. Yeah. Well, it's, it's totally my fault. What was it? Um. Also, sorry, I had to go and grab a mat. So, let's talk about how cricket works, because it's been a while since I've done that. Um, but, you have the cricket machine, right? Um, and it's got its own proprietary design interface. Um, wherever you, like, wherever you upload your stuff to, to cricket, and they're like, okay, cool, let's see if we can cut this with a cricket machine. The fact that you were, <laughs> the fact that my voice slowly got quieter as I was yelling that across the makerspace made it so much funnier. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that I exist for your entertainment and solely. Um, so first thing you do, you plug it in, which is in the back here. I don't know if how well, yeah, yeah, y'all y'all didn't see that. It's fine. What was it? It's in the back. What was it? Like most things are. What was it? And then you grab the USB connection or the not the USB. Well, I mean, it is a USB. I don't know. I don't know what this port is. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. What was it? I just know that it, it exists. And <laughs> it's the one for the cricket. You plug it in. To the cricket and right next to the power port, right? Uh, you plug it in right next to the power port. Yeah, there we go. Okay. What was it? Here's more info about cricket. Yeah, what was it? It's a for-profit company, but we like machines that they do. They're really versatile. Um, they're just good for like a lot of different projects. So we so we tend to use them a lot. Um, and then what you do is you have your mat here. Ah, the camera is frozen again. Let's take a look. Where's the overhead cam? Dot cam. Deactivate. Reactivate. Okay. Cool. Are we alive? We're alive. What was it? So this is the mat. What was it? Uh, for those of us. Here, let's do this. It looks like this. Um, and it's. Was it? It's just a mat with a little bit of, of adhesive on it on the workspace, so that what was it? Whenever you're, whenever you have like, because like you're cutting this stuff out, right? Um. So a lot of the times, you know, then there's like moving. There's a lot of moving parts. If you don't have it, be if you can't keep the your material stationary, it's gonna move around and be and create imprecise cuts. Um, which is why you have a little bit of adhesive on this mat to make sure that it sticks. What was it? Okay, All right. And then you throw it on here. What was it? You plug it in. You press this little go button here. What was it? Which is this button right there. Hold on, that button right there. This the arrows. What was it? Actually, let's see if I can. Yeah, that looks better. That looks better. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and go into the Cricut Design software and be like, make it. Actually, you know what we're gonna do first? We're gonna say attach it so that we don't. 
basically, if you don't make all, if you don't um, select all the objects and s attach them to the mat, it's gonna be like, well, huh? I'm gonna make these as efficient as possible, so I waste as little time or as little as little material as I can, and then they're like. So let's push all of your stuff, including all the little like eyes and the whiskers and all your shapes inside. What was it? And towards the corner as much as it can. What was it? And then we just click final. What was it? And then we press go. What was it? So yeah. So now we just, at this point we just wait, honestly. Um, I might have made it too small for the detail in the middle lane, I think about it. So I was like, it's simple enough, it's gonna be fine. I maybe should have given it a little bit more leeway. <laughs> because the general rule of thumbs that you want was it yeah, go cricket, go, do your thing. But also like Huh. Um, but also like the general rule of thumb is it's easier for the cricket to cut out, cut out if it's, it's the simpler the shape, um, and the bigger the design is. Um, so, like, very small, very intricate, like, designs are not what you want. They are the exact antithesis of what you want. Or of what the cricket, of what the cricket wants. What you want could be completely bad. It'll just be a time having, making the cricket do that. Um, just because, the, like, if it gets too small, eventually the blade will start to lift up the sticker. Or lift up the vinyl as the blade lifts up. Because it, the blade has to lift up to move. Um... So, that's a fun time for them. But anyways, yeah, this is basically it. We just let it do its thing. Does anyone have questions? Oh, you know what I completely forgot? I forgot, um, transfer paper. Let me go grab, let me go grab, let me go grab transfer paper real quick. watching the mesmerizing fidgeting of the cricket machine yeah it's really nice honestly like there's a lot of people who like come into the makerspace and they're like it's so calming like because all the machines are just running sometimes and it's just like or like there'll be a machine running and it'll be like wow it's just going doing its thing what was it and it's like really especially like i know a lot, a lot of people come in and they're like wow the three printers are like really just calming to watch because they're just extruding filament like layer by layer by layer and they do like a hundred couple times depending um and so repetitive motions and repetitive sounds well is it personally i like the tech sounds machines a lot better but i'm biased <laughs> well is it okay so now it says it's done and now we just say hey i cut you out okay and then well bam that's it what was it? I mean, that's not it. What was it? But for like, as far as the cricket machine goes, that's it for the cricket machine. So I'm actually gonna go ahead. What was it? Turn it off. Close it. What was it? And unplug it so we don't waste power. Um, and then. Oof. There's so much setup and prep that happens with this. What was it? Honestly, the time consuming part is not using the cricket, the time consuming part is setting up. What was it? Okay, so now. Oh no, the docam died. Well, the docam didn't die, it just froze. There we go. Okay, here we are. And we have our wonderful, wonderful vinyl here, right? Yeah. Okay. So. I'm actually going to turn the monitor a little bit this way so that I can cut and talk. Also, let's... Life of a streamer. I'm so glamorous. I'm so glamorous. What was it? But 
Here we go. And then we're gonna peel this off really slowly because if you don't do this slowly, what will happen sometimes is it'll, was it actually, was it, there was someone who taught me this trick of, you place it against the, was it, you turn it upside down like this and just go real slow. What was it? I keep like, what was it? It was actually Matthew who is one of our, not graduate and extension students, but, or gra but one of our uh, grad students who work with us. I don't know, it's weird. Or it's not weird, it's just I don't know how to describe it accurately. Also, you want to put this plastic sheet on top of it, so like because of the thick adhesive, it'll get dirt, unless you do, and get dirty and like be not sticky anymore, which is not what we want. We like sticky. We appreciate sticky. Okay, there we go. And then we turn this over, and then I look very carefully at where I'm cutting. So take some scissors. Was it cut out the rest of the vinyl? What was it? What was it? Because was it, you can reuse this vinyl, um, or you can use the rest of this vinyl for something else or for a different project. I like the method because you're bending the mat and not bending the vinyl. Me too, because if you bend the vinyl, it gets interesting. It's a little weird to work with, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Um, so, now, it looks like it's just empty, right? But if you look closer, let's see, can I get a good view of this? The camera doesn't seem like it's picking this up very well, but there's tiny little, yeah, there we go. The glare is helping with that. Um, you can see the tiny little incision marks, or the tiny cut, cut, cut marks. Um, that's happening, especially with the sheen. And just because the angle is working really well for that. But yeah. Here we are. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our set of printer tools, which usually come with the, which come with the thing. Use one of the machine stickers to make a birthday card in our honor. Maybe I will. It'll be a fun time. What was it? I mean, we have 30 minutes. <laughs> what was it? So there's a lot of things, but usually what I go for is this hook thingy. What was it? Also, if you're like under the age of 13, have a parent accompany you while you do this because they're sharp tools. What was it? Just in case we have any kids watching. Um, but they have like, let me show this. Where are they? There we go. Nope, wrong direction. This direction? No, nope, this direction. There we go. Yeah. Um, they have like a tiny little hook at the end. There's a little bend to them um, that is good for digging out sticker things. So it's like a knife, or I like to think of it like the little, little thumb of a knife. Don't ever point it towards you. Also, these corners are more surprisingly harder to, to get than you would think. There we go. Okay. Well, bam. I will say I make I'm making this look kind of easy, but I do have a lot of experience with the stickers, and it's not hard. It's just sometimes it, it's it's like I just have a lot of practice with this. So if I move faster and you and you come in and you're like, wow, I want to try this out, and it takes you like a lot longer, just know it's just because I put I made I had a sticker I had a sticker thing happen. I was really. I had a sticker phase during freshman year of college where I just made stickers all the time. And the fact that I'm getting paid to do, like, make stickers on stream is not, it's not helping with that. But yeah, yeah, it is really nice, that first one, the really big one, that, like, does that help you? It's really nice. I really like it, personally. Was it? So, like, now what we do is we go in, take away everything that implies the inner space. Like so. So, well, bam, look at us. Oh, it didn't get that full. I mean, that makes sense. Was it? Because there's no way that would have really worked unless you had two colors. 
Um, and what I'm talking about right now is like the striped tail they have because it's not, it's like fully striped from end to end. But the way, if we had done white space and playing that, we wouldn't have like a single continuous outside border, which would have been bad. Or it wouldn't have been bad, it would just been harder and more annoying. But yeah, now it's just time to go in and like do these slowly. Admittedly, these what was it because you you want to go slow with this kind of stuff because there's a lot of yeah so like there's a lot of like tiny detail stuff like this little eye here, like Pusheen's eyes because they're so small. Sometimes the cricket won't cut enough accurately, um, that it'll just oh yeah or one of the or one of one of their whiskers or one of her whiskers. Come on. Well, sometimes it helps to use a second tool. I feel like if you were a surgeon, this would be a really good way to, like, a really good way to, like, uh, practice your scalpel skills. Or something. I don't know. What was it? I've only watched Raising Army, so I can't I can't promise that. But yeah. Pusheen looks really good. What was it? That whisker had some time, but it's okay. It turned out okay. What was it? And honestly, you don't need a lot of force to like grab the stickers. What was it? You just need to be careful and slow. good because the last time I worked out was a hot minute ago. Come on. The first one was so nice. Why won't the rest of them be nice like that? There we go. Oh well. Okay. Okay. There we go. What was it? And then pull out the tail bits. Okay. Also, you may end up with just stickers on your. It's like, it's not as bad as it was like glitter, but or glitter glue, but like, you might just find little sticker bits. That is. And that is so terrible. Yeah, it's really cute. It's it turned out way better than I thought it would. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. What was it? Oh, come on, come on. Yeah. Hello. There we go. Hello. It's also just. What was it? Sticker bits are everywhere. Yeah, it's, I mean, I'm in the way I don't have any, ah, wait, there's one right there. But like, yeah, it comes with the territory. What was it? But... Uh, come on. You also don't want the cigarette to really like peel back just because it's gonna be a time getting them to some, sometimes they'll like stick like they'll roll back and they'll like stick onto the parts you don't want to pull away and then it becomes a time that's a fun that's always a fun time it's not it's kind of frustrating sometimes but it's also this is just like a very therapeutic thing to do just because it's not really complicated it's really simple and like it's not very hard it's just you might you might make a mistake sometimes and that's okay I have sticker bits. Ah, oh. you know what? I'm gonna wash my hands later. It'll be fine. Okay, that came out really easy, real quick. I feel like I really want to make like a that was easy button. No, nope. come on. You want your eye to stay there. Actually, you know what? Oh, gosh. 
Can you help me? I stay there. Yes, thank you. Come on. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh no, second eye. This one did not turn out as well, but it's okay. We can do some editing on this one. The good time of Tush is perfect. Press this button. That was enemy blood easy. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it is sometimes. Okay, so let's rearrange you. So you look less scary. Yeah, the eyes didn't do as well for this one, I'm gonna be honest. There we go. They're fixed. For the most part. Was it sometimes you also just wanna go over it with like a spudger? Or just like a flat edge. And just really stick them on there. You know? Make sure they're sticking. Don't move them around too much, you know. It's a delicate balance. What was it? Okay. We have we have 30 minutes left. Wow, maybe it really will make us maybe it really will make a card. What was it? I like I took it seriously, but I was like also I don't know if I'm gonna have time for that. Well, I guess I don't have time for that. What was it? This is the like smoothest stream that has passed by so far, and I'm very surprised by it. Because this is gonna take me a long time. I guess maybe we'll go this way again because that worked well for us before. So I don't see why it wouldn't. What was it? And I don't really see the difference, but if it worked well for us before, why not try it out, you know? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why, but that working going from that direction just worked really well. Yeah. Now we're done. It'll be cool to, to get to show the sticker transfer process on the stream. Yeah, no, really. I'm really excited about this part. We have never been able to get to this part without running out of time. Um, so we have our stickers here, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and be like, we're gonna, we're gonna have some transfer paper, right? Was it also, yes, Gudetama. Very cute, super cute. Um, we're gonna grab some transfer paper, right? And we're going to, go ahead was it which is which looks like this it's just like usually a two tube of stuff sometimes they come in, sometimes it'll come in sheets i like the tube version personally just because it's more efficient um and we're gonna peel some off which is usually an annoying process but it's fine what was it what was it and keep your scissors keep your scissors handy for this process keep your scissors handy for this section because Oof. But I will say transfer paper is really, it's kind of expensive. Um, per roll. So we try to make sure that we're really efficient with our transfer paper. Um, and was it, so we don't waste as much, we don't waste any of it. 
I'm not doing a too great job of it right now, but it's okay. So we have it like that, and then we're gonna cut out. Okay, I'm gonna grab better scissors because these are kind of bad, I'll be honest. I'll be right back. There we go. Yeah, this is so much smoother. Oh no, that's on the outside, that's good. Slowly and carefully. Oh no, it cut out. Dang, that sucks. Well, I mean, it wasn't anything too complicated, it was just... Okay, so the dog cam cut out. But, we're here now. What was it? I just cut it out. What was it? Um, like this. And well, bam, here we go. Here's our, here's the super transfer paper, on, or here's the transfer paper on this. And we're gonna just trim the edges, because why not? That's always nice. What was it? Like we get like the clean cuts. There we go. And then let's get the final last clean cut. Get another one. What was it? Yeah, but like they're super cute. They turn out really well. What was it? I'm really excited about these. They're, oh my god. They're so cute. What was it? And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, spudge it, and I just mean going over it with like a hard, like sharp, not sharp. What was it? You actually don't want it to be sharp. Was it because it'll be bad? It'll like it might actually if it's too sharp it'll like you know cut in, cut into like the sticker. But a kind of dull edge that's thin, a dull thin edge, so you can like push out any air pockets if you see. I'm gonna be totally honest. I don't see any currently but this is also just to make sure that like you're making you're making the sticker transfer paper adhere what was it a stick to the stickers as much as possible so whenever because the sticker transfer or the transfer paper has some adhesive on it so the idea is whenever you peel off the transfer paper, transfer paper now what was it it'll peel off the sticker with it and then you can just Slap it on something. And well, bam, here we go. What was it? Here we have our Gudetama and Pusheen stickers. What was it? I don't think we're going to have time to make that birthday card because. Unless this is me and printer paper, what was it? And some pen, and some pen and paper, that's not happening. Just time wise. But it turned out really well, actually. I'm really glad for it. Um. But yeah, it's really good. I'm really happy with it. Um, the question is, what do we do now? Because <laughs> we're not. Because we got 20 minutes left on the stream. What was it? I get paid by the hour. What was it? Not to disclose too much, but like, yeah. What do we do here? Because <laughs> we finished. We finished the goal of the stream. Um, way faster than I thought we were gonna. Cause like today's does stream idea was it was it was just me doing the design process of this, right? Because like, hold on, let me show y'all the other thing. Cause like what what I was working on last the last stream, which you can check out if you go to our Twitch page and look in our archives. Um, 
what was it is not this where's that screen share uh inkscape yeah where's inkscape Ah, here we go. Yeah, what was it? Let me open up last streams because this took this took like really this took way quicker than I thought it was. What was it? Last streams was uh, where is it? Where is it? Here we go. One second, Clocky. Actually, I wonder if it's gonna show up. I'm, I might have to delete this one. What was it? Uh, Inkscape. Yeah, this one, it took roughly four and a half streams to just get through this. If you end up making a, a pushing birthday card, it would need googly eyes. This is true. And considering we have no googly eyes, it would be a disrespect to Pusheen to, to, to make that birthday card. Sadly, I've, I'm sad to report that the Makerspace googly eyes collection because we used to have like a box in the craft supplies also side note why i love ma makerspace every time i walk in i just have so many craft supplies it's like marshalls but free what was it yeah what was it thank you it's adorable right yeah i love it but this took me four and a half streams which is like two hours each so eight nine nine hours roughly this took me what was it and this is that's not even including like the actual cutting out the other cutting out took like another hour this took me like two hours. You know, I I don't know. I don't know. It, it turned out really well. It turned out really, really well considering. I don't know what to do now. I mean like I guess I can end the stream early. Like maybe not like I'll I'll do like I'll stay for like an another five minutes. What was it? Just because I don't want to end too early, but like we can end ten minutes early. I've never ended early before. What was it but yeah, check out the makerspace at NCSU. Oh right, sorry. I'm back to what we were talking about. I am, um, what was it? I tend to jump around and I'm a little scatterbrained sometimes. Cut more stickers in another color? We could. Yeah. We could. Yeah, let's do it. What was it? Where is it? <laughs> let's see if we have more vinyls that we actually like. Or the vinyl colors that we like. Let's take a look. Whoops, that's fine. It was just the roller transfer paper. I'll pick that up later. Ah, yellow. That'll be good for good Atama. We can do good Atama again. Ooh, this like pale yellow would be perfect. What was it? The light's not great, admittedly, but like, hold on. Yeah, see like this pale yellow color I think would be really cool for good Atama. What was it? So I guess that's a good one we can do for that one. And then Pusheen is, well Pusheen's already kind of gray. Well, I mean we can find a brown. It. It's really lucky that these are like the colors that nobody ever uses, because like, 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 you'll see here as I flip, flip through these. There's a lot of just mismatched and vinyls that people were like, eh, that's enough to save. But also, there's just a lot of scraps of vinyl, because not to say that we hoard things, but we keep a lot of things. I didn't realize this. Someone cut out a moose and then just left it here. Ah, I see why. It's because the it's because the cut strength was so strong that it cut into the sticker. That makes sense. Or it cut into like the back of the sticker. Was it? Okay. Well, I guess we're doing these. What was it? Um. Let's see. How do I want to orient this? Actually, can I find a brown that's just not cut in two first. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Um, so we're going to put this back here and I'm going to put this back here. And then we're going to throw these back here. Okay. And then we're going to have a ball with this one. All right. Show us the moose. I want to see the. Wait, do you want me to show you the moose again? What was it? Because I thought I just showed you all the moose. 
Am I incorrect about this? What was it? Hold on, let me find the mips. Right here. Yeah, this is the mips. What was it? But like, yeah, yeah, like I barely press on that. Oh, we're still in the Watson. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on, y'all. I'm so sorry. What was it? I was looking at the wrong screen. I'm sorry. What was it? This is the moose. This is the moose. What was it? In the meanwhile, I'm gonna get set up for, I guess, the next set of cuts. What was it? I'm also setting up the cricket again. What was it? I love it. Hi, Miss Friend. Yeah, he's great. Like, I don't know who designed it or who found the design, but it's, like, it's real good. What was it? I love it. Because I, I'm going to be totally honest with you, I like doing, I like making some drip a lot, but I don't, I'm not real great at, like, the design part. Like, you know, that Watson and Quacky design I showed you took me four streams to make from hand slash scratch and it was still based off a photo um but like the making stickers out of something out of design that already exists are like there's it's so much easier personally speaking or in my in my opinion it's just like There we go. This is better. Okay. So, let's slap this on there. Come on. There we go. What was it? Apologies if the light isn't great. It's just we we're we're working with what we got here. There we go. That's better. Marginally. Um cricket time, cricket time. Rhino, go. What was it? But yeah, now we, just, now we just get to see it go, which is always the fun part, honestly, I think. But yeah, I guess this is what we're doing for the next few months. How are y'all? I don't know. What was it like? I don't know what to talk about. Uh, I guess the like the small talk, small talk thing to talk about. I guess would be like the weather question mark. Um, the weather in Raleigh is terrible. Like, oh boy, it's so bad. It's just been cloudy and raining all the time. I haven't seen sunlight for about two weeks. It's so bad. I just, I want to see the sun, man. <laughs> What was it? Yeah, what was it? At least snow would have been fun. Well, snow would have been more dangerous, but snow would have been more fun. But we just get so much rain. It's so rough. It's fine. We're, like, I mean, for the most part, it's... Snow is magical, and I want it. Yeah. Yeah. Also, that means no school, potentially. I mean, or... That is the weather catastrophe most likely, or the weather phenomenon most likely to happen and most likely to get us out of school. 
what was it? I really doubt they'll get us out of school for because we live in NC State and we have snow every so often, so they're like used to it-ish. But at least the public school kids will just like you know have a day off, which will be good for them. Or maybe it wouldn't be. I don't know. What was it? It's always weird. here we're existing we're chilling we're vibing as the kids say what was it i felt so old saying that and i'm only 19 what was it okay so i'm gonna swap this out um i'm gonna take care of, because you've already seen how what was it actually should be holding this one but You've already seen how I do my post-processing, so I'm actually just gonna, because we're gonna be a little bit crunched on time if we actually wanna do two of these, two sets of these. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work on the first one. I'm gonna work on the yellow set while the next, while the set of brown rolls in. Okay, and then let's start with, oh fudge, where did I put the, uh, ah, here we are. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna assume that y'all wanna watch the cricket more than y'all wanna watch me pull out stickers, so that's what we're gonna go with. Okay. What was it? Well, 
this seems like a good time to end the stream. So, thank y'all so much for coming out. Was it? This stream was such a blast. Y'all have no idea. Um, I hope everyone stays safe um, and that everyone is good um, and makes good choices. What was it? Also, if you can't eat pizza and you like pizza, get some pizza. Pizza's great. Um, but yeah, what was it? Shout out to my mod, who's awesome, did a great job. We love her. We appreciate her very much. Um, we love you. What was it? Pay her big bucks. What was it? Um, but yeah, have a good night, y'all. Bye.